Hello, I'm Dr. Evan Alexander. And I'm Karen Newell. It turns out the scientific world is shifting rapidly all around the phenomenon of consciousness. Uh, Karen and I are very happy to be returning to Theosophical Society to discuss some of the latest developments in understanding of this rich phenomenon. It has everything to do with that deep mystery of what we call the supreme illusion. The fact that we've all assumed that the world out there is the world out there, and that's what we're experiencing. Yet, in fact, no human being has ever experienced anything other than the inside of their own consciousness. And this is where it gets very interesting. It has to do with the fact that the scientific community is coming to realize that the physical brain does not create consciousness, but in fact, it should be better looked at as the brain being a reducing valve or filter that limits consciousness down to the very minimal trickle that we experience in our normal waking consciousness as human beings. When you realize the brain doesn't create consciousness, uh, it turns out that going deep within consciousness is actually a way to go out into the universe. This is something I've been working on personally ever since my near-death experience due to coma from bacterial meningitis back in November 2008, and I find that the whole scientific world and the world at large is beginning to embrace this incredible journey of transformation. So how do we get behind this illusion? How do we know what's real and what isn't real? Well, one of the ways to do this is to expand our awareness beyond that meager trickle that Evan speaks of. Expand our awareness so that we can become more in touch with a greater knowing of who we really are. And on uh, June 11th at the Theosophical Society in Chicago, we're going to be demonstrating exactly how to do this. And what I'm really excited about is that we get to have a full day at the Theosophical Society, allowing us to have ample time to answer questions, to interact with participants, and really come to some very helpful take home uh, useful practices to do at home. And so we really hope to see you there. I look forward to meeting you in the Chicago area at Theosophical Society on June 11th.